Yo, what's up? This is Ryan Leslie, and you're checking out Backspin TV Black Book. You're asking about what the concept is. Well, the title is actually an acronym. So an acronym is just the word, the the letters actually spell out a much longer title, which is the Magnificently Zealous Renegade Takeover. So this album is really like a magnum opus, and uh, and what that means is it lays out the philosophy behind my crusade to change the music business by doing it on my own terms, right? So doing it on my own terms means to make the music that I want to make. No label, no manager. I was going to say no PR, but I'm doing an interview right now. Uh, we're going to have some videos and everything. But I run my multinational, multi-million dollar independent record label straight off my iPhone. And so the reason why we call it the Magnificently Zealous Renegade Takeover is because we're not taking any prisoners. And we're going to show the world that it's possible to do it independent, straight off the iPhone. Yeah, I'll explain how it works. It's very simple. Just send me a uh, WhatsApp message. You don't need an app. You don't need anything. You just need to want to have a relationship with me. There's nothing to download. There's nothing to you know, join up or anything. Just send me a message directly. It's very simple. And I built a very, very sophisticated system in the back end that allows me to keep track of tens of thousands and hundreds of thousands of messages at once. Right now, my WhatsApp messages, I believe I have about 3,350 new messages. <clears throat> and that's because I posted that I was in Cologne last night and I told everybody to reach out to me. A lot of people don't feel like it's real. But it's real. I answer all the messages personally. So if you send me a message, you have to be patient because I actually care about my people. As you can see, I'm here. I have a couple of interns with me. I have some people on my staff, but no one touches my phone except for me. So I respond directly. So it's a very simple concept. It's just about being able to say thank you. And how can I say thank you unless I know who you are? I could actually check right now to see if you pre-order my new album. We won't put you on the spot, but I know because you can only get it directly from me. I can check to see if you and or your staff have actually got the Black Mozart album. We won't put you guys on the spot, but I know, because you can only get it directly from me. So that means everybody that's listening, everybody that's watching, I can tell whether or not you supported my latest two projects. The reason I know is because you can only get it directly from me, and the reason you can only get it directly from me is because I care enough to want to say thank you. There's nobody else in the world or actually, maybe you can give me an example, but there's nobody else in the world, if you're listening at home or you know on your phone, wherever you are and you're listening, tell me the one time that you've actually bought an album from someone and you got a thank you text message. A thank you text, just something that simple. That's really what my platform is about. And getting back to the album too, you asked me a little bit about the album. The album as well is, it, you know, it's, it's a very kind of progressive album because the technology that we're building is progressive. But the other probably most incredible piece of the album is that half of the album is going to be produced by unknown producers because I'm opening it up for unknown producers to come and be on this project. So I have a club. It's called the Black Phoenix Beat Club. If you want more information, you can just send me a text. I'm going to actually give the number. I might as well give you the number. I mean, it's, it's, it's available on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. You see the number. But I'll just give you the number. It's plus one, country code, United States, plus one, 915-600-6978. And if you look at 6978 on the keypad in America, it's M-Z-R-T. Plus one nine one five six zero zero six nine seven eight. I'm very excited about this album, mostly because it'll be a chance for me to actually say thank you to the people who are supporting it. Oh yeah. So in terms of the production of the album, we always want to be groundbreaking. We always want to be ahead of the curve. And so um, I, I, I was, uh, you know, I, I have a very keen 
interest in looking at all the emerging technologies that are available. And so one of those technologies is a private social network. And Justin Bieber is a part of it, Usher is a part of it, Ariana Grande is a part of it, Tori Kelly is a part of it. And so I reached out to the CEO and I said, look, I want to be a part of this too. I know you guys are only have about 28 artists that are part of it, but you know, I'm not as big as Justin Bieber or Usher or those people, but I want to be a part of it so that people can actually watch me make this album in real time. And so if you go to my Instagram, in the bio of my Instagram, it says, download the official Renegades app. Now, this is different from Disruptive Multimedia. To, to reach me directly is very simple. Like I said, just send me a text message. But if you want to watch this record get made in real time, we would just, you know, um, because we're on tour, sometimes, you know, it's, it's crazy. You know, not all the people that are on my staff want to pay six euros to wash one pair of underwear. So I said, you know what, this morning we'll all go to the laundromat because, you know, I'm human too. You know, I don't want to pay six euros to wash my underwear either. So if everybody else is going to go to the laundromat, I'll go to the laundromat. And this morning at the laundromat, I was listening to beats from the Black Phoenix Beat Club. I got inspired. I started to freestyle. My man Brandon went to the car, grabbed the actual camera, started to film it, and it's already up on the official Renegades app, which you can get. There's a link to it in my Instagram, follow.me, F-A. H L O dot M E slash Ryan Leslie. Now that's a private social network. It's only for my renegades. It's only for the people who actually, you know, people wrote, you know, somebody sent me a WhatsApp message today said, you know what, Ryan? Um, I feel like I missed the studio sessions. I, I missed the creation of the album. I said, you know what? You could get this app and you can actually see it happen in real time. You want to see the moment where I get inspired to write a verse? You know, if, if yeah, I'm sitting in, the, I'm in the laundromat, like, oh, you know, I'm out here and I'm killing. They still ain't giving me no time yet, but I'm still counting my millions. I'm still counting these millions, man. I'm out here and I'm killing. And you know what's so ironic is that we're sitting in a laundromat. I'm talking about counting millions of dollars. You know? But we're in a laundromat in Cologne, Germany, where it costs a dollar, I mean, one euro to dry your you know, to dry your clothes for 15 minutes, you know? But that's, that's, that's humanity, that's life, you know? Millionaires don't always eat caviar and fly private planes. Sometimes you gotta get out here on the street level and hustle, get into a little van with your boys and come out and reach out to the people, say thank you to the people. And so we have an app, it's called Follow Me. Um, and I love the technology, I love the private community that allows me to have besides just being able to reach me directly, which you can at any time, just send me a text. Um, I love this community. So anyone has any questions about, hey, when is the album coming out? How is it getting made? Who's producing it? What are the tracks? Um, what is it gonna sound like? What is the hooks gonna be? That's all gonna be right there on follow. You could just follow it and you follow right along and see, see it happen in real time. And it's me and my team that are curating. So you'll be able to see updates from me. You'll be, be able to see updates from the, the filmmakers that travel with me, folks that are on my staff. And so any questions, like I said, I feel like a lot of fans, they have questions for their favorite artists. With me, there's really no, no real questions because you can always get me directly. Oh, yeah, yeah, well, of course. Of course the tracks are important. Every track on this album is an extension of my life. It's just, it, is a, it is a reflection of what I'm living at this very time. Right. So uh, the first single is already out and you'll notice right at the intro for the video for the first single, there's a voice that says, good morning, Mr. Leslie, you know, 11,000 X number of renegades worldwide. And that is actually the real number at the time of shooting that video. That's the real number of people who had supported my album at that time. And so that's what people to actually see. It may be a concept that people don't understand. Like, why is somebody giving out their phone number? It just doesn't make sense. Like, do, isn't he going to be bothered? Isn't he going to get a lot of messages? Listen, before I die, it is my crusade. It is my desire. It is my dream to actually say thank you to as many people who support my album so I could create a pathway for other young people give them an example that if they really care about their music career, they have to start caring about their fans. And so um, the name of that first single is New New. It's important for me, number one, because it's produced one, two, by, one, two, one, two, she was 16 one, years old at the time, a yeah. producer by the name of Wonder Girl. So that's already something that's very significant. It was recorded 
at the Hansa studio in Berlin, Germany. So that's why it's also important. We're here in Germany. We recorded the first single in Germany at a legendary studio. Number three, lyrically, fuck everything you used to. We on that new, new. We make it history, man. You know we need to lose too. We on that new, new. We riding Tesla's while you pushing that a Suzu. We make it history, man. You know we need a new screw. We getting money, we don't care about what you do. Fuck everything you used to. We on that new, new. We make it history, man. You know we need a new screw. We pushing Tesla's while you riding that a Suzu. We getting money. That's really, you know, people say, well, Ryan, you know, I'm tired of listening to people talking about money and, you know, using money raps and all this other stuff. Like, you know, um, you know, why don't you talk about emotions and life? And, and, and I say, you know, I've already written those records. Those records exist. I made two R&B records. You come to my concert. First of all, you should come to the concert because I'm not leaving any of those songs out at the concert. But the difference is when you're independent, you have to be competitive. Otherwise, people don't want to follow what you're doing. Right? They want to follow, oh, where's everybody being successful? If I sign to a record label, then that's how I'm going to be successful. Well, we're, we are here to prove and to show you that if you want to make money in music, you don't have to be signed to a record company. You can get money your own way. I don't like counting other people's money, right? I, I can't come to you and say, well, you know what? How much money do you have because I'm hungry? I got to be able to feed myself, right? And so I really... You know, I, uh, and not disrespectfully, I don't care what anyone else is doing to get money. Whether you're with a label, whether a label is, is in your pockets and robbing you for 80% of your revenue because they gave you an advance or if they're keeping you away from your fans, I don't really care about that. What I do care about is that me, my team, the artists that follow my plan, independent artists that want to be on this pathway, we getting money. We don't care about what other people do. So we on that new new. I mean, it's simple business. I mean, it's a simple relationship, right? Why is it so important to know your friend? If your friend, you know, if, you, if your friend, you know, um, writes you a song, you, would you say, oh, I, I, I don't know you. Uh, I'm cool. I'm just going to listen to the song. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't care really who you are, right? Or if you write a song and someone says, you know what, uh, what's your name? Annie. Annie? Annie? Okay. If someone comes and says, 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 Annie, you know, that song that you wrote, I really love it. You say, well, you know what, just go listen to that. I don't care who you are, just listen to it. Um, you know, uh, I'm glad you like the song. I mean, it's just a simple, it's, it's such a simple concept of a relationship. Now, that, that's on a human level. It's a simple concept, a relationship. But on a business level, let's talk about your telephone company. When you call your telephone company, you decide, hey, I need, a, I need a new plan, or hey, I'm going to the United States and I need international data. What if they say, hey, well, we're sorry, we don't know who you are, and you've been paying them every month, and they, and they tell you on the phone, hey, we don't know who you are, or let's say you're flying somewhere, whether it's, you know, whether it's um, on a flight, and you get there and you're running late, and you get to the counter, you say, hey, I just missed my flight, I need a new flight, and they look you up and they say, well, we don't know who you are, and you say, no, I, I gave you money to get on this flight, and I missed it, but, uh, but I need to get another flight because I need to get to where I'm going. They say, oh, no, I'm sorry, we don't know who you are. You would be very upset because you need to get to where you're going. And so for people that support me, whether you're coming to the concert, whether you're getting the, the, the fresh gear, or whether you're uh, supporting the album, I, I feel like you should know who I am and I should know who you are so that way I can serve you better as an artist and as somebody who cares about um, giving the best service possible to the people who support me. So that's why it's so important. And that's for everybody. I don't care whether you're starting a clothing line I don't care whether you have a magazine. I don't care whether you're an artist. I don't care whether you're a chef or you're writing a book about health. You should know the people and you should know them personally who support you and who are going to give you a chance to publish another magazine, give you a chance to uh, create your own website, give you a chance to create your clothing line, give you a chance to write the book that you want to write. You should know who those people are. And technology in 2014 gives you the ability to know them personally because guess what? Amazon.de, they know every single customer. They keep track of hundreds of millions of customers. So if you only have 1,000 or 5,000 or even 50,000 or 500,000 or a million or 5 million, if Amazon can do it, guess what? You can too. Yeah, I know there's a huge difference. All right. Uh, let me give you a, a simple mathematic equation 
my first album, I was supported by a major record company. Worldwide, I sold 180,000 records. My royalty statement after 180,000 records was only my advance, which was $90,000. With this platform, I've only been able to identify 12,700 people around the world, and my current royalty balance is $370,000, which is four times, four times what I made selling 180,000 units on a major record company. Four times the money on less than 10% of the sales, and I know every single person. You can send me a what's up right now, and I know you, and I can say thank you. And so I would say that's an incredible difference. And I would also say that if you're a musician, if you're an artist, and you're not in a contract right now, before you go and sign any contract, come talk to me and talk to me directly because we're changing the music industry, we're changing the way things work, and we're changing it and rebalancing it in favor of the people who create the music as opposed to people who exploit the music. Of course you can send me music requests for the tour. What I'm gonna say is this. My WhatsApp feed is crazy, okay? Because everybody has my phone number. It is ridiculous. You know, we're in the thousands of messages. I'm getting through them slowly. I'm in the thousands of messages. So if you don't get a response immediately, please don't be offended because it takes time. And I would make a wager that you prefer a personal response than a response from some PR person, right? So if you really want to actually, um, if you really want to actually make a request for the tour. I think we should set it up inside the official Renegades app. You could download it, and then we'll set up a poll of what songs you would like to see in the show. And uh, the app is free, you know, just like WhatsApp is free, but the app is free. It's in, it's in, it's in the um, iTunes store. Just download it, and you can join the community. We will create a, we'll create a, um, a topic in the forum that says, what songs should Ryan play? on the tour and then uh, you can put your you can put your request in and the most requested songs the most requested songs and i already know like some of the hits those are what everybody requests oh diamond girl addiction um you know uh beautiful lie maybachs and diamonds a lot of those songs people are going to request all the time good girl you know my favorite most popular songs uh but if there's a special song maybe what we'll do is even if it doesn't make the most requested songs, I'll pick a couple of special songs and we'll add them to the set. However, you should know as well that the set this year, we're digging in. We're gonna have an incredible uh, 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 screen that I've been working uh, with Carlos from Alpha Fame. He's been putting together this tour with uh, a lot of the promoters. And uh, he, uh, he had booked us at a, at a uh, at, a, at an indoor festival in Antwerp, Belgium. And there was like a 50 foot screen behind us as I was performing. I said, yo, Carlos, we need to give the people, the people need this experience with the huge screen. And so he reached out to the people who are um, uh, actually allowing us to mount this screen behind the performance. So in addition to the band, we are uh, working right now on having this screen and this is one of the most exciting pieces of this tour. It's the first time that I'll be able to stunt on a jumbotron here in one of my favorite countries. Um, and we'll also, you know, we'll be doing Amsterdam and, and Paris as well and Switzerland and Barcelona. I don't know if we'll have it in time for Barcelona. But uh, we definitely need to, you know, for, for the big cities in Germany, we definitely need to have this massive screen. So if you have any uh, questions about the screen that we're going to have for this tour, you can email them to Carlos at alphafame.de uh, because he's working on that. And it's something I'm very passionate about. And uh, I told him, look, the fans really want this. So, um, yeah, that's, it's, it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm going to have a great time on tour. And... If we don't do your request, I always come out for an encore. So if we don't do your request, when I come out for the encore, if you scream loud enough and I can hear it, I'm going to look back at the band and say, look, yo, band, y'all, do y'all know this record? And if they say yes, we'll perform a verse or a chorus or whatever we can just so you can have that experience of seeing the song live. So if I had to pick one album, which I played over and over and over again, and 
and took me through a lot of different moods in my life. It would have to be Stevie Wonder, Songs in the Key of Life. I, I really love that record. You know, it's a double album too. Write a song or produce a song, both. I, with this, this may not be the best. Um, this may not be the best game to play because I'm, I'm really multifaceted. I just like doing everything equally, and anything I do, including interviews, I put everything into it. So whether I'm writing a song or producing the song, we're going 100%, taking no prisoners, both. Whether I'm singing or rapping, it depends on what I feel. You know, if there happens to be, you know. As Jimi Hendrix would call it, if there happens to be an apple um, out of which I want to take a bite, well, potentially she might be more persuaded to do so if I sang a song for her. So it depends on the mood that I'm in and the message I want to get across, but I love both equally. Unplugged or studio versions, once again, both. Because, because the studio version, you can take take after take after take after take and layer your voice, layer the instruments, um, create different arrangements and then live anything can happen the mic could feedback you could fall off the stage um you know your drummer could you know um come on stage and start singing with you i mean anything can happen live so i love that experience as well so as i said this may not be the best game for us to play because everything that we do we do it big shout out to the homie wiz both right because and you asked me why love songs or party songs well because sometimes Sometimes you fall in love at the party, right? You fall in love at the party. You go, you go to the party, you see, you're dancing, you know, you're in the VIP. Next thing you know, you look and somebody's up there pointing, to, they, trying to get to the VIP. You say, oh, is she a renegade? You know, hold up your phone. Did you get my album? You know, then if she comes up and she gets that, you know, this, this is what we do for, for, for the renegades, you know? So, um, but, but um, at, at, after the club, right? You don't want it to be silent. If something amazing is going to happen, you need a soundtrack for an epic moment that may not necessarily be, you know, Hot Nigga by Bobby Schmurter. You know what I mean? But that might be the song that she's dancing on. You say, oh, that money dance she's doing is crazy. But then, you know, when you get to the actual, when you get down to business, you know, you might need that right soundtrack. You know, you might need some Teddy Pendergrass turn down the lights or whatever you know so yeah I, I think equally you know you need a soundtrack an epic soundtrack for both moments equally <laughs> hate to do it to you again that you know it's equal I'm, I'm equal parts live performer and equal parts you know hardcore straight up businessman you know so when I'm at home and I could take my meetings and I can be in my little ivory tower just masterminding how we're going to change the industry and, and, and give artists a platform so that they can take over this industry the way that they should have many, many decades ago. I, 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 um, I derive so much pleasure from that. But the same energy with which I approach that goal, that's the same energy that we bring to the stage. And as we say back in New York City, we take no prisoners and we love to burn it down on the stage burn the stage down. Some places, four hour long performances. So if you want to come see that in action, that's why we're here, that's why we're doing this interview because almost half of unsold concert tickets are because people don't know that the concert is happening. So I want to say thank you to Backspin Magazine for allowing me to do this interview to let people know I'm coming on tour. The, the tickets are available the domain is very simple, mzrt.com. Even if you don't get a response from me on WhatsApp and you got questions about the tour, I already gave you Carlos's email. You can ask him about the screens. The screens are coming. They popping. And mzrt.com, that's where you can get your tickets. Just click tour, get your tickets. You can get a VIP ticket. You get a Renegades ticket. If you get a Renegades ticket, I'll sign an album. I will give you the album personally signed. This is a new day. It's revolutionary. I told you, this is not the best game to play with me. Both, right? Because a solo song is cool because, you know, it's just my perspective. If I'm producing it, then it's 100% me. The feature, you get to be in studio with somebody incredible. You got to think. Let, let's look at a record that I did, uh, Christian Dior Denim Flow. That night, it was like my birthday. I'm in the studio. It's me, Kanye West, John Legend, Kid Cudi, Swizz Beats, Lloyd Banks, all in the studio, Pusha T. 
So, I mean, how can you actually say, well, you know, I prefer to be solo in a situation like that. So, you know, there's not a preference, it's a balance. And so, you know, if we go bar for bar on that record, you know, that might be one of my favorite verses I've ever spit, you know. Time for a lesson in model behavior. Damn, look at all the bad bitches I gave you. I can see the flaws through your flavor. You look like Wonder Woman and still need a savior, you know, so... Uh, yeah, I, I like both, you know. I could have done that on my own record, but I think it, 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 it's more, um, it, it's, uh, it's, it's better received when it's in the company of other great uh, talents. Uh, yeah, I think you know the answer. It is a trend. We had to say both again, and I'll tell you why. Festivals, right, sometimes I'm performing for audiences that don't even know me. Right. So maybe I'm not headlining a festival. Right. So. So, um, you know, we just did a festival, uh, uh, the, 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 the Encore Festival, man. And, you know, I went on kind of early in the day when I play festivals. I've never actually been able to play a festival at nighttime. You know, and so coming up, I think there's an Alpha Fame Festival is coming. You know, once again, since Carlos is arranging it, I have a I have a personal relationship with him. I said, yo, I need the nighttime slot and I need pyrotechnics and I also need a 50 foot screen. Right. So once I have that, then, um, you know, maybe the people are coming for me. But also with a festival was so beautiful about it is that there are many other audiences in the in, in, on, on the festival grounds that I can actually convince why they should be uh, supporters of Ryan Leslie and the music that I'm making and the live show that I'm making. And then on the concert, it's something so beautiful because it's intimate. Those are people who, you know, they work hard. They take their 35 or 45 or 55 or 100 euros and they buy the ticket and they, they bring their friends and they make a special evening out of it. And so that's the opportunity. I'm not playing stadiums. I'm not playing big theaters. You know, what I'm playing is maybe, you know, anywhere from 800 to 1500 allows me to be intimate with the crowd, I can actually, you know, we can, we can, um, we can change the set. We can listen to requests. We can perform a song, you know, which is on the album is only three and a half minutes. We can vamp it into eight minutes, etc. Festivals, you know, even though you get all the all the extra people, normally they're rushing you off stage. It's a serious timing. You have all these other artists, the the promoters and the people that are backstage. They have to deal with, you know, a lot of other people that are very important or feel like they're very important. I'm simple, man. I just like to get on stage and perform the best that I can. And we'll do it on a festival stage in front of, you know, uh, uh, in front of lots of extra people. Or we'll do it, you know, even to a more concentrated level for my for my intimate captive audience at a live show that's just a Ryan Leslie show. Love or success, I think I think that uh I think that if you choose love you get the other one. So I I I'll choose love because I I I believe that if you choose love and I'll say this. It could be that you love what you do. It could be that you love your family enough that you want to give them a better life. It could be that you uh, and that's, that's if, when I say family, it could be, you know, mother, father, sister, extended family. I got a niece and, and, and nephew, um, shout out to Kai and Ivy, you know, my, my little niece and nephew, um, you, you know, it's love, it's love first, love of yourself. You got to love yourself. You got to love your life. You got to love your work and you got to love the people around you. Um, and love the people that support you too, which I do. I love every single person that supports me. Um, and so, yeah, I believe that when you have true love, I think the measure of success is if you really love what you do. Do you love actually having the opportunity to interview people who are changing the world? Well, then I would say you're extremely successful because there's a lot of people out there that uh, they do things that this is, they necessarily don't love to do. And they may say, you know what, I just wanna be rich. Uh, and why do you wanna be rich? because then I can do what I want to do. And so I'm so lucky, I'm so fortunate that being an artist in 2014, I'm, I can actually say with, um, I can actually say with, with, um, uh, 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 with conviction that I really, really, really love what I do. And I throw my heart and my soul and my energy and my passion into every single task that I undertake. And I believe that for me, that is the true measure of success. I'm gonna write this for y'all.
you know what I mean, in my rap. So that's what I'm going to write here for you, and we're going to put it on record that uh, in 2014, or actually 2015, New Year's Eve, that's when the record is dropping. Uh, my life, this is my life. Long nights, we put the jets on it. Excuse me, long flights, we put the jets on it. Long nights, no rest on it. Music biz, we put the tech on it. That old model, we flex on it. That's what we do, because we taking no prisoners. Bulletproof your windows, because we taking no prisoners.